All right, guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to build a list of dentists and let's take a quick look at what that might look like. So this client had sourced a list of dentists and they were looking specifically in the Chicago area. So they provided this link for us to begin our search from and I've redacted the email addresses, but you can see all the different owners here that were identified and dentists of these practices and uh, where they're located, which is what this user was looking for. So if you want to build a list like this, and you want all these email addresses, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Coldlytics. And if you don't have a free account yet, go ahead and click on sign up in the top right corner. Um, but for today, I'm just going to log right in. So I'll log into my account. We're going to click on the plus new button at the top. Okay, so we're going to start by defining how many leads we're looking for. For this example, let's say we're looking for 500. And we're looking at one contact per company. And under the general targeting, we're going to come down to job titles and we're going to enter dentist, doctor, owner. And then we're going to keep scrolling down into data sources. And this is where we're going to go over to Google Maps and pull this URL. So if you were looking for dentists in Chicago, you would run a search like this in Google Maps. If you wanted to change that to, you know, Syracuse, uh, we'll do that. And then you just copy this link at the top from your address bar, bring it back over to Coldlytics and just paste it right here like this. Boom. And now we have a link that's telling us, hey, we want these businesses. We want as many of these businesses up to 500 in this area um, that are the doctor, dentist, owner um, of these dental practices, right? Um, so let's scroll down a little bit further. Um, we do have some advanced filters, depending on the type of search you're running. You may want to play around with the revenue filters, the headcount for employees when that company was founded. Um, but for this search, we, we just want as many dentists as we can get, so we're not going to limit it. Um, in the additional notes, let's see what this user had entered. So they said, so we're looking for general family dentists in Chicago. We're not looking for pediatrics, orthodontics, just general family practice owners. So you can specify in your task notes here if there's a nuance like that to inform us of. We'll click on that blue next button in the bottom right corner here, and we're going to define the data points. So by default, every list is going to have the first and last name. You're going to have the company name, their job title at the company, their e email address, and company website link. Um, now, if we click inside this drop down menu here, you'll see we have a whole bunch of other data points. So maybe if they have a LinkedIn profile, you want that link. Um, you want to know where they're located. So we'll get the address, um, you know, the phone number for the practice. And if we can find a direct dial, we'll do that as well. Um, we'll come down here and maybe we want to know what their review score is on Google. Um, we can find it if they've claimed their Google business profile, which is kind of a good insight to say, you know, have they taken any action to invest in their online marketing and their online presence at this point? Yes or no. Um, let's keep scrolling. So we have links to all their different social platforms that we can try to look for for you. Um, we can find out if they have an advertising pixel on their website. And if they do, that means they intend to spend money on advertising, right? Or they wouldn't have put that on there. Um, so that's another great signal if you run PPC services. Um, let's keep going here. We've got Google Analytics detection, um, e-commerce. If they have a checkout on their website, we can find out uh, whether or not the website was built on WordPress. And we can even find out how fast the website loads in milliseconds. And if you guys are selling SEO services, um, this is a great data point because what this tells you is not just their page speed, but all their competitors' page speeds. So you can reference this and say, you guys loaded in about 4.5 seconds. Um, Google has a two second rule that if page loads in less than two seconds, then that creates the best user experience. And most of your competitors are loading in about three seconds. So you're a little bit behind and we can get you into that optimal zone with a few simple actions. Um, that type of messaging is so strong because you can even call out a competitor if you want to. You can say um, XYZ dent dental company in your city is loading in two seconds and you guys are not. Therefore, they're getting more leads from Google than you are because Google is going to prioritize them. And obviously, you want to be competitive and get as much business as possible, right? So why don't we get you in that two second zone as well? And if we get a few more Google reviews, you're going to naturally start getting more business. Um, that's the type of um, uh, language that you can craft from getting these data insights. It's not just good to know information, it's actionable information, which I love. So let's click on the blue next button in the bottom right corner. We're going to come over here and we're just going to call this dental practices in Syracuse. 
and then we would hit start task and we would launch the task. Now in this case, um, if you don't have a subscription with Coldlytics yet, let's jump over and look at how much it would cost to build this list. So one credit equals one contact and it works out to uh, on the low end uh, or the high end, I should say, you're paying 99 cents per credit for $100 a month, you get 100 credits. Um, or you can go up to the 599 plan where you get a thousand credits a month and it works out to 59 cents per credit. Um, now on this list, we did get a direct dial um, and the direct dial does use an extra credit. So use two credits per contact if we source a direct dial and about 20% of the time we find a direct dial contact. So you won't get one for everyone, um, which is why I also included the general company number. If you're cold calling, then at least you'll have an option. Um, but that's how the pricing works. So it's one credit per contact. And then what you can do if you're already on a subscription, you can come up here and if you need more credits, click on top up and you will be able to add additional credits within the price tier that you've subscribed to. So if you're like, well, Matt, you know, I only, I only need 200 a month and there's not a perfect plan for that. That's no problem. You can subscribe to light. You can use the hundred per month and then you can add another 200 credits for uh, another hundred credits to get yourself up to 200 for $99. So that's how it works. Hope that's pretty straightforward for you guys. Um, quickly, we do have a couple of integrations as well. The most popular one is Lemlist. So you can push your list directly over to Lemlist if you're doing cold email with these guys and push it straight into a campaign. Um, we also have an API. So if you guys have your own software that you want to utilize to request a list from Coldlytics, you can push your list request over to Coldlytics as well. And we're working on more integrations as we speak. So this has been a quick video on how to target dentists. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to drop it in the comments. Appreciate you watching and uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks.